outside and this doesn't taste as good as I thought it would honestly I'm not entirely sure what to do <clears throat> the last few days it's just been very cloudy and I wanted some winter wonderland like every day but because it's the beginning of December end of November the snow's still a little patchy people so I've kind of just been bumming around in the rain for a while. However, today I was like, what can I do when it's weather like this? And instead of moping around indoors, which my seasonal depression is trying to get me to do, I will throw you. I'm thinking, why not Christmas decorate? So I'm just gonna finish this, get ready, and then we can do a little Whatever that was. All right, let's do something productive with the day. You have a tree in here. <laughs> okay, I've literally been sitting on my bed for like four hours because I've genuinely just been contemplating life you know, as you do. So I just wanted to say something. A lot of people seem to be thinking that I don't live in my van or that I have a secret boyfriend <laughs> Shh. Um, living in the back of my van or that I have a film crew, which I most definitely don't. Or it's stupid that I have clothes in my van and I clearly cannot live in a van if I wear nice clothes. <laughs> my whole point about filming all of this is one, I love doing it. You can probably tell. I love filmmaking. I've wanted to do this since I was 13. Um, everything about my story is true. I live in this full time. And I get that that's probably something really difficult for someone to understand if they've had a very conventional life, GG. Um, a very conventional life. I understand how that can be pretty difficult to understand how someone could live in a van. Especially when your van looks like, I don't know, this. It's cute. It's aesthetic. It's what I wanted it to be. And my parents also live in a van. Um, I can understand how that can probably be a little bit confusing. Um, hence where I film everything. And the reason I do all of this is because I really wanted, I really want to show that you don't, you don't have to live in a box. This is a box. Um, but you don't have to live a certain way. You know, like, it's so drilled into us from a young age what we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to live, how we're supposed to do things. And I've learned the hard way that that's not what I want. It's not how I think life should be lived. 
and I know so many other people feel the same, but often lack the courage to do something about it. So that's why I built my van. That's why I live like this. That's why, you know, you see this? I had to get my clothes dry cleaned, right? Because um, this dress, this pink one, started molding along the bottom from the jerry cans, <laughs> which is fun. Um, but yeah, no, it started molding, so I had to take it to the dry cleaners. That's the whole point of me living in a van. Rebel against existence. Do what you want to do. And the best part about this is I'm not standing here in a one million pound RV. I'm standing here in a under 10k van included converted van that I did myself. I just wanted to talk about that because it is a little soul destroying to read a load of comments of people saying how you don't live in your van, how you don't do any of your own work, how YouTube has sponsored you. Like, Anyway, the whole point of me saying this is just to address that because it gets a little tiring to read. Um, especially when none of it's true. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to focus on those people because so many of you are just... <laughs> I get so many wonderful DMs and you're just so nice, so nice. Exactly what I always pictured having an online community would be. So thank you so much if you're one of those people who support me. In any way, thank you so much. The world needs more people like you. Okay, so enough of the drama. Let's go get Christmified. Is that a word? I don't fucking know. I'm tired. Let's go. Right, I need to buy a Christmas tree. I'm not gonna lie, there's quite a few really nice ones over there that I really want to chop down, but I know it's illegal, so I have to buy one instead. Ooh, 24 minutes. Less boogie. Also, uh, shock horror, nobody's sitting on the driver's seat. As for my film crew, <laughs> we're actually strapped to the ceiling. Like the roof rack. They're strapped to the roof rack, so you now I've got to be careful with going under low bridges. Where are my fucking glasses? I only wear these when I've been staring at the screen all day everything becomes like ultra HD and I'm just here like Ooh, oh shit they're steaming up that's not good these just make driving more dangerous Center. I've literally found Santa's Grotto. This is amazing. Get this, Gigi just shat on the floor. And um, let's just say my little finger experienced the experience a bit more than I wanted it to. I don't know, I like all of them, but I think um, one of these ones, they're actually fake. They're, the things are real, but like there's foam underneath it. I think that's an absolutely brilliant idea. So let's, let's get it. What do you think? Greenness, an 8 out of 10. Shape, solid 9 out of 10. Oh, and it smells. It's perfect. I'm taking it. One Sapper Noel. 
Okay, so I've popped her back here so she can get acquainted with the other plant. Which I haven't killed. This is literally the reality. Owning a dog. I really don't know how this Christmas tree is gonna last. Like, someone's found it. Have you found the Christmas tree? Do you like it? Okay, I'm gonna go get some boobles, maybe. Christmas tree check, Christmas decorations kind of check. I didn't want to buy too many because I know that the Christmas tree is just gonna and break all the baubles. So for once I'm being sensible. All right, let's find somewhere to go. I think this is genuinely the most adorable thing. Because last Christmas I had such a crappy Christmas setup, and this is just so good. That's one thing I really miss when living in a van. You can still decorate it the way you decorate a house, but I'm a fan of a big ass Christmas tree and having all little presents under the tree. And you kind of, when you're in a van, you can't really have big Christmases anymore. Like last year, I got a, a blazer and some chocolate. So you kind of have to minimize Christmas which kind of sucks but equally you know why do we need loads of things all the time so yeah I guess it's kind of good Christmas in a van you still enjoy it but you have it on like a small scale which isn't good for me because I like doing things on a big scale but let's get decorating I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the gold stuff. I don't hate it. I think it's kind of cute, right? I mean, this is just gonna annoy me. If you decorate your tree with the light on, I'm judging you. Okay, tree reveal. Three, two, one. Oh, that looks so cute from the back. Oh, it's perfect at the back. Damn it, what an idiot. Look how nice the fairy lights look at the back compared to the front. It's just a big bald patch. Okay, so I have an issue. I don't know what to do with these. Now, I bought them because in all honesty, I don't like any other colored Christmas decorations than like green, red, and gold. But these were pink and gold and I was like, I had to, but I don't really know what to do with them. I was thinking about going like the whole way around with them because obviously I have the fairy lights which are cute. Also, Gigi nipped the end of one of these. In the morning I woke up and I caught her chewing that. You know when you're like half asleep and you're like what is that noise? Candy cane was beheaded so. But anyway, I don't know what to do with it. I feel like it's gonna look a bit shit anywhere to be honest. I also have this fluff which Gigi also has attacked. It's not my best effort, I'm not gonna lie. 
No. Okay. It's even long enough. Oh shit, it is good. That looks really bad, doesn't it? Oh, that looks so bad. Damn it. Mm. Look at that. That is the bitten one. I'm actually really sad. Oh look, this is super cute. I think I'm just making it worse. But it doesn't look that bad, right? Oh, my little Christmas tree. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so that's my Christmas decorating done for 2022. I could have done a better job. <laughs> But it's not too bad. This Christmas tree I think is amazing and I don't really know about that yet. I don't know, you might see some changes in the next video to be honest. Oh, there's an article on Le Nouveau Vague. Perfect, exactly what I wanted to read. If you don't know, it's like the whole new wave of cinema and cinematography especially in France and Truffaut and Godard. Ah, brilliant freaking article Vogue never disappoints. Ugh, Bridget Bardo as well. Oh, well, I would give to be in that freaking era, I swear. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like my little Christmas day. I'm really hoping to catch a lot more snow, but it's that dodgy point in the year where it's just rain and gloom in the in the mountains which kind of sucks because it is so depressing <laughs> it's so depressing that's what i love about living in a van you can just move if you don't like it but um uh, gg please stop that stop it stop gg no okay i'll play with you in a second all right Anyway, thanks for watching, as ever, and I'll see you next week. Wait, I'm not really close enough. Hang on. Show mummy. What is that? Eyelash curlers. Show mommy what you got.